On behalf of Aaron and Anthony, I welcome you and thank you for gathering here on this beautiful day to witness the lifelong promise they are making. Anthony Michael, my love, you're the kindest and most generous, sincere soul I've ever met. I love how you kiss me goodbye every morning before you go to work. I love how you share an excitement for life as I do, and I love your Love for Miles, <laughs> who's upstairs. Um, I had a beautiful feeling the moment of introduction in my kitchen when I made eye contact with you. It wasn't long before I knew that you were going to be the man I would wake up to every day and spend the rest of my life with. The reason we are here is not by chance. I know that everything I've done or have not done was a beautiful path that led me to you. You are my soulmate and forever my husband. My life has been permanently changed since meeting you and I'm looking forward to the adventures we'll have in the future. Every step of the way, my hand will be in yours and I promise to nurture our love until the end of our days on Earth. My life is better with you in it and I love you. <laughs> Aaron Jean, since I know you love quotes, I thought I'd start off with one. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. So please allow me to explain it simply. You are marrying a man who quotes Albert Einstein in the second line of his wedding vows. <laughs> as wonderful as our time together has been, I only see better times ahead. And to make sure that will happen, I promise you five things. One, I promise to laugh with you and only sometimes at you, because watching you gracefully tumble down the stairs is funny when I know you're okay. Two. I promise to encourage all of your dreams and passions because they are what make you extraordinary. Three, I promise to be by your side when you succeed and when you fail because together the good times are better and the bad times are humbled. Four, I promise to always make time for you because you are never too busy for the ones you love. Five, I promise to always admire and adore you <clears throat> because our love will always feel fresh and new. I will end my vows the same way they began, with a quote. When you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. It's been 593 days since we met, and the rest of our lives starts today. I love you. I can't believe that in a few short hours I get to marry the love of my life. Now as someone oh, I can't read. Now as someone who has helped to set up this morning, I can tell you that your colorful vintage circus themed wedding has come together perfectly. And the weather cannot be more beautiful. 
You'll see when you're done being cooped up inside getting ready for me. I could not be more excited for today and for our future together. If it's anything last of the past couple years, you wrote last of the past, I think you meant life. Years we've had together, the fun is only getting started. I'll love you forever, Erin Jean, and you'll always be in the forefront of my mind and my heart. There are very okay to cry. There are a few <laughs> things in this world I wouldn't do for you, and one of them just happens to be skydiving. Sorry, love. Okay. But in all seriousness, I love you with all my heart, and I'm so excited for today. I love you, love always and forever, Anthony. Beautiful. Very pretty card, too. Do I have to read it out loud? No. Not Did you read it out loud? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> my dearest Anthony, I'm so thrilled that in a few short hours, I will be your wife. It looks, I know that logo. How much tape did he use? It was really hard to get it to stick. It was on the box. I know, does anyone else know this logo? I know this logo. Oh, I, I know. Blue Nile. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's shaking. so pretty. See, that's what I'm wearing today. That's why I didn't pick out jewelry that day. It was, it was a fate. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? It says, today will be a damn fine day. <laughs> You look so handsome. You look beautiful. <laughs> I, love I like you. your necklace. <laughs> I love my necklace. Thank you. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm so excited. How does it look? The tent? I didn't look. I just came to you. I didn't look, I didn't look at anything else. Actually, I came running through. I'm excited. Me too. I love you. Oh, I know there's someone to love to prove my love to you. In my heart you'll always know There is a place only love can go There is a place only you can go Take my notions and words to heart This is the cry of a man I can't bring you fortune or no life I'll love you all I can Oh, I know this song won't do Enough to prove my love to you In my heart you'll always know There is a place only you can go oh, To all those who bear witness I have the great pleasure of announcing Anthony and Aaron as husband and wife. Not only their wedding day, it's mine and my wife's 39th anniversary. And how cool is it to have your daughter get married on your anniversary? I just think that's awesome. <laughs> the only problem is if I forget, I'm in twice the trouble from now on. Buddy, I'm uh, Kelly. I'm the bride's big sister, if you haven't noticed the resemblance yet. <laughs> I've been lucky enough to know Erin her whole entire life, from the moment she was born. We've grown up together, we've had ups and downs. <laughs> there were a few times that weren't exactly sisterly, 
For the many times I honed my negotiating skills by uh, talking you into trading your awesome toys for a couple of my crappy ones. <laughs> but they were more good times than bad. I know we weren't the best of friends in the teenage years, but I'm glad that we made it through that and we've grown close in the years since. You are the best sister a girl could ever ask for. <laughs> and the best auntie, as they say in Minnesota, that the kids could ever ask for. When you have daughters this pretty, you always kind of worry about who they're going to wind up with. <laughs> she seemed to know that somewhere in her future was a fine young man named Anthony. She waited, she waited, and sure enough, they met, and here we are today. I'm very honored to have been chosen as the best man. I know it's a big responsibility, and uh, that they picked me was a, a, a really great thing, and I'm very respectful of that. And yes, I do know that if he were here, Matthew Stafford would have been picked over me. Lions! Because my brother does love the Lions. But second place to Matthew Stafford, I will take that. If you have ever met either of us or any of our group, it would not have been out of the norm for us to proclaim our awesomeness and the pride that we take in our friendship. We work hard to maintain our closeness and our traditions are very important to us. We often reminisce because we never want to forget our beautiful memories. And I also have to give a big shout out to the 200 Pound Club. Yeah. And thank you for coming into Boston and gracing me with your presence so I could grace Anthony with Aaron's presence. Anthony has always been a very good judge of character and you can tell that by well, most of his friends that are, that are here, maybe a couple of them, I'm not sure that I got in, but, but he's a very good judge of character. So when he came home and said, oh, you know, I met this girl, oh yeah, and, and Kathy's like, really, are you gonna get married? <laughs> not, not right now. We met her, sure enough, he was, he, he was correct, she's a nice girl, and I'm really happy to have her as part of our family, and then as, as I'm sitting here watching you all consume adult beverages, I could only think to myself what Jeff Foxworthy might say if he were here, and he would say, if you go to a wedding and you're drinking your liquor out of a mason jar, you might be a redneck. Now, we're from Elginac, and we're a little country, but the water's where our heart is, so we developed a nickname. We like to call ourselves Water Billies. So from us and every other water billy that's here, and there's a lot of us. We welcome you, Anthony, with open arms. Official water billy. And Anthony, we welcome you into our family with lots of love, and I love your curly hair. My grandpa always used to say, I'd rather be lucky than good. And I think these two are very lucky to have found each other. And I consider myself especially lucky because not only have I had a wonderful brother my entire life, but now I'm gaining an amazing sister today. The Langdons and the Dolans both have Gaelic roots. So let's raise our glasses, everyone, to an Irish toast. For each petal on the shamrock, this brings a wish your way. Good health, good luck, and happiness for today and every day. trying to do it right hey! I've been living a lonely life hey! I've been sleeping here instead hey! I've been sleeping in my bed hey! sleeping in my bed hey! Hey! so show me family hey! all the blood that I will bleed 